she is um, one of Darius's crew members, if you will, um, and very loyal to that. Uh, very loyal to uh, keeping her separation from the police, if if you will, um, and very strong and and uh, bold in her own right, and a childhood best friend of Alicia. And you'll see in the film that they made very different choices in life, and she's dealing with the consequences of those choices. The character is, um, you know, the, we were talking about a little bit. But what's great about movies like this sometimes is less is more, and I think I think that's in general is is always the way it is. Mm -hmm. But specifically, less is more sometimes with there's enough backstory, there's enough understanding of what you what you understand these people to be when you see them, the world they're in, the life they live, how they dress, how they interact, and 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 uh, just the distrust of the law enforcement and what they've sort of made their own reality so what our backstory how how much this is family like what what's the family dynamic yeah. she's got a son my my position what what do i do this is this whole dynamic that has been sort of created by us because you know it's like lord of the flies i mean you know we're just trying to survive we're trying to do what we got to do and mm -hmm. and you know and i think that's what's great about it i think people understand that struggle that's the that's the first thing you notice about our our world yeah the struggle everybody's yeah. nobody's nobody's living high on the hog as they say in the south everybody's sort of making ends meet and day to day that's that hustle and i think that's what's what's very it's very specific and very relatable with our characters I find it very easy to go dark and uh, and to figure these guys out. I've created my own world, and and you know, as a police officer, I've I've made allies and and uh, deals with the side that I'm not supposed to. And we're kind of running the street, you know. One hand washes the other, and we both kind of take care of it. And so it's not until she shows up, the beacon of light uh, that she is, that. You know, we're 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 forced to face what it is that we've created, which is something very bad. Dion is 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 uh, an incredible, energetic, passionate, uh, childlike uh, director who knows exactly what he wants and exactly how to get out of us what he needs mm -hmm. in a way that makes us happy you know it's not there's no it's not contentious ever creatively yeah. it's uh it's a pleasure to kind of try to please him because i trust him yeah and mm -hmm. uh and you know he made a great movie yeah he he you know what's gr going back to that uh, it's he is like when he's, he's a director when he needs to be and then he slips into this audience member mode he slips into this 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 mode where he's watching the video playback or watching he's in Video Village watching things as if okay. he wants to experience if he if he's into it and he likes it then that's what then he's going to print that is going to inspire people hopefully it will inspire conversation and for change but you still got to entertain people and and the less they're thinking, you know, um, about things in the moment, they're experiencing, is, is, it should be simultaneous. And experience and thought should happen simultaneously. And then afterwards, more thought and more conversation. And then, and you want, want to see it again because maybe there's something you missed, but that's what he's doing. I think he's creating something that hopefully will be in the zeitgeist, will be in, in, in the pop culture. So when people watch it, they go, oh yeah, black and blue, it's a, it's a certain type of movie that has, has sparked a conversation that maybe there'll be other movies like it, but this is a movie that sort of did that, and so we yeah. hope that's what it's gonna do. Yeah, um, we can never say enough that we hope that it sparks change. Uh, this film is a, a, a mirror of what's happening in our country, and if we could all be like Alicia West's character uh, and, and speak up, even when it's hard and uncomfortable and just be courageous enough to you know, walk the line of integrity, we'd be at a better place. And if you want to have a, a, a fun, thrilling ride, literally from beginning to end, come see Black and Blue. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, I think, I think the people don't necessarily go to the movies to, 
to get a lesson mm -hmm. about anything. It just happens, and, and then it's like a, a, a bonus. But, right. but I think what you just said is the most <laughs> important thing. It's the kind of movie you're on the edge of your seat, and it's it's a fast 96 minutes, and, and yeah. it's uh, action-packed, and it's great. Everybody in it's great, and it's, uh, it's, 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 it's worth going to the theaters to see. Hey, it's Lisa here. Did you know that the first picture to sweep all five major Academy Awards, winning for Best Picture, Best Actor, Best Actress, Best Director and Best Screenplay, was Frank Capra's It Happened One Night from 1934. The second movie to do the same was One Flew Over the Cooking List from 1975. Do you like my t-shirt? You can get one for yourself in the description below.